In the previous module, we covered a little bit about the electrical system itself. Now that we've talked a little bit about the system, we want to spend a little time talking about the regulation of the grid. This module will provide an overview of how the grid is regulated. As the U.S. grid has grown and evolved, so has the requirement for oversight of the bulk electric system. In the early days of the electrical system, it was essentially every organization operating according to its own standards. But eventually, there were broader standards that were voluntary to follow. But as our dependence on electricity has grown, the requirement to adhere to industry-wide standards has become mandatory instead of simply voluntary. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC as it is commonly known, is responsible for the oversight of the bulk electric system. It is responsible for the regulation of high voltage interstate transmission of electricity, as well as natural gas transportation. It was originally formed as a reorganization of the Federal Power Commission and was given the power to propose voluntary standards by the Department of Energy in 1977. Here is FERC's mission and vision. Its members are appointed by the president and are appointed to five-year terms. And although the commissioners are appointed by the president with the advice and consent of the Senate, FERC is an independent agency. There is no review of FERC decisions by the president or Congress. And this helps ensure that FERC maintains its independence as a regulatory agency and provides for fair and unbiased decisions. In response to the massive 2003 blackout in the eastern United States, the Energy Policy Act of 2005 was enacted, which gave FERC regulatory authority in North America. And it also gave it the ability to make compliance with standards mandatory and enforceable. Previously, they had been voluntary. Today, FERC has responsibility for several areas of the electric grid and ensures all users, owners, and operators of the bulk power system adhere to the standards it establishes. Users, owners, and operators of the system include investor-owned utilities, rural electric cooperatives, federal power agencies, municipal utilities, and others. Some of the areas that FERC oversees are ensuring the reliability of high-voltage interstate transmission, monitoring of the energy markets, transmission of wholesale electricity in interstate commerce, and licensing and inspecting hydroelectric projects. FERC also oversees environmental matters related to hydroelectric projects and major electricity policy initiatives. It uses money that it generates from penalties and other sanctions in order to provide its funding. Although FERC has the authority and responsibility as the Electric Reliability Organization for North America, it has delegated this authority to NERC. NERC was started in 1965 it was originally called the National Electric Reliability Committee. But due to Canada's participation, the name was changed to the North American Electric Reliability Council in 1981. The primary function of NERC is standards development and reliability standards compliance enforcement. And it's responsible for much of North America, including Canada and the northern part of Mexico. Although FERC has delegated responsibility to NERC, as the Electric Reliability Organization, NERC in turn has delegated authority to seven regional entities, which are pictured here. NERC's mission is to improve the reliability and security of the bulk electric system in North America. And as I mentioned, it develops and enforces reliability standards. Compliance for the NERC standards became mandatory June 18, 2007. And NERC is responsible for many different things. It's responsible for monitoring the bulk electric system, assessing the future adequacy of the grid, auditing the owners and operators and users of the grid, educating industry personnel. And in order to do all these things, NERC relies on the diverse and collective expertise of the industry participants. As I mentioned, NERC has delegated its compliance enforcement to seven regional entities the 16 reliability coordinators, or RCs, NERC oversees, are responsible for the reliable operation of the bulk electric system. They continually monitor the system and have the authority to prevent or mitigate emergency operating situations in next day analysis and real time. 
Peak Reliability is the current reliability coordinator in the Western Interconnection, but this year the California Independent System Operator and the Southwest Power Pool will be assuming the RC function for the entities in the Western Interconnection. And the regional entity for the Western Interconnection is WEC. WEC, or the Western Electricity Coordinating Council, started originally as a trade organization, but in 2002, its predecessor, the Western Systems Coordinating Council, merged with three other regional transmission associations. WEC was created. WEC is a not-for-profit corporation responsible for promoting the reliability of the bulk electric system in the Western Interconnection and was designated as one of the NERC regional entities in 2007. WEC is responsible for compliance, monitoring, and enforcement in the largest geographical NERC region, which is made up of two Canadian provinces, 14 states, and the northern portion of Mexico. It coordinates the development of reliability standards and the operating and planning activities of its members in the Western Interconnection.